those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in his divine plan and find strength in his presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with him. Remain blessed as you listen. moment you find yourself looking for money you have missed the law you will never find money money is not missing don't look for it it is attracted by who you are becoming more than what you do becoming is greater than doing your evolution and your transformation is greater than what you do can I tell you this you will prosper largely because of who you have become more than what you do but the people that do know their God it starts with knowledge listen carefully it says they shall be become then they shall do exploits it starts with knowledge transformation then action most people get it the other way around so you find many people christians what business can i do to prosper me what job can i get to prosper me you are missing it you can do 30 things you will get the same result if it's the same mindset doing them it is not the business that is failing is the mindset that is doing the business that is making it fail are we together now that is why the wealthy are not wealthy because of the business that prospered them the wealthy are wealthy because of the mindset that made the business they are doing to prosper every business that you are you are failing at someone is succeeding at the difference is not the business is the mindset when you have a car and you drive that car to a ditch don't blame the car the car was supposed to obey every direction you take it to. So if your incompetence as a learner takes it, tells the car to go to the left, it will obey you. When you see that car hitting the tree, police does not arrest the car. They arrest you. Because the problem is not the car. The problem is the driver. That driver is your mindset. Are, are you learning now? Please come, Minister Kayo. They just come for a moment. Let me just use you for an example. Watch this. This body you see, everybody look up and learn. This body you see is only an instrument of execution. This body does not have a will of its own. Anything you see the body do that translates to the result of your destiny is only obedient to your mindset. If I take my hand and I slap this man, the hand is innocent. It is the mindset that told the hand to slap. Are we together now? If I take a gun and I go to kill, the gun is innocent. The mindset instructed the body to hold the gun till it kills because it believes it cannot prosper by dignity. So your body is only a slave to your thinking. When a man slaps his wife, and beats the wife there is a mindset that teaches you that if you beat the living daylight out of your wife she will respect you maybe it came from culture so your body becomes a slave to that thinking now let's assume god forbid but let's assume this man is an armed robber shoot this armed robber and let him fall to the ground let's also assume that there is another man standing here come you sit back at your keyboard eh? watch this let's assume this man is a pastor shoot two of them when they fall down do you call this an armed robber dead body do you call this a pastor dead body so who was really the pastor and who was really the armed robber not the bodies they are all called dead bodies now watch this let's assume this man is an armed robber there is a mindset making him to steal to kill and to destroy it this man is a pastor there is a mindset making him to preach the gospel and to love jesus christ by the time this man gets saved, he can come here and the once armed robber suddenly changes. His body did not change, his face did not change, his voice did not change. The only thing that changed was his spirit and his mindset. So when you want to change men, what do you really change? So why have you been focusing on changing clothes and changing cars 
and changing jobs it looks like the obvious problem but it is not the right one you have changed every other thing except the real thing that needs change can i tell you when everybody is wrong is proof that the problem is your lens of sight your mindset is someone learning so when the holy spirit comes and wants to build you he will not give you capital for a business you see some of those prayers we are praying is the mercy of god that is making that prayer not to be answered because god does not want you to waste money god if you can just give me five million in this abuja i promise you you don't even need to come and help me again you just give me five million and i will use the brain god gave. and you see in god's mind all you are saying is lord mercy i don't even know what i'm saying i'm confused but i need help and he comes to you he gives you a book and he gives you a message go and meet somebody who is struggling financially and give him a teaching and say can you listen to this he said no you are wasting my time all i need is money and you are telling him i want to help you i shared it last week this man can remove this beautiful attire he's wearing not to insult we pray that god transforms them but you go to the outskirts of the city where you meet all these rough boys again you know what is rough about them right it is not the body always remember this body has always been obedient it is the mindset that told the body to smoke it is the mindset that told the body to sleep under a bridge it is the mindset that told the body to go and look for where there is something to smoke the body is innocent remove this same cloth and give those boys to wear in one week their mindset will tell on the cloth this cloth is clean it did not iron itself the body did not make it happen is the mindset that told the body to be sure that it's is neatly dressed so all of the confusion around our lives we blame our bodies we blame all of this it is our refusal to be transformed this is not just for your finance it's for your life 